All right, let's look at how to set up a simple send over to SpectreFoo using the FireWire channels. I'm going to begin with a basic ULN2 uh, setup here, one of the templates, and open this up. And what this does here is it went, goes ahead and it sends uh, each channel over to its own individual FireWire output, FireWire 1 through 12. Now, that's how we're going to configure this. I'm going to need to unassign these channels. I'm going to want to grab FireWire 1 and 2 for Foo. So I'm just going to go ahead and shift click to select all the channels and then take the direct out channel and go to not connected. All right. Notice that Foo turned off. Let's go to Foo for a second. Inside the routing window of SpectreFoo, I have FireWire 1 and 2 coming on an analog 1 and 2. And all the windows inside of SpectreFoo are all pre-configured to grab FireWire 1 and 2. If they're not, go to the preferences for each window and show channel 1 and 2 as FireWire 1 and FireWire 2. Okay, that's all routed. So, I want to grab DAW 1 and 2, which is my uh, return channel here, and set its output to FireWire 1 and 2. So I can do this either in the pre-insert or post-insert. It doesn't really matter um, in this case. But I'm going to go ahead and grab it from the direct FireWire 1 and 2. Okay, now it's routed. When I press play on iTunes, there you go. You're inside of Foo. So simply just take your channels and route the output of your DAW or any particular input strip you'd like to go ahead and route to SpectreFoo to the relevant FireWire channels. And FireWire are rooted in the analog uh, analyzer control and routing window, which are already preset from 1 uh, up through 16, which is the default for this particular uh, piece of hardware. And you are good to go. And that's how you can get iTunes into, or actually iTunes or any of your DAW programs, from DAW 1 and 2 into SpectreFoo.